What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and like it or not, glass morphism is a thing. And so in today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to create that glass morphism effect in five easy steps. Okay, let's dive into Figma and create our glass morphism effect in five easy steps. The first step is the easiest of all of them, and that's simply to draw a shape onto your frame. I have a rectangle here. Yours could be a circle, triangle, whatever you want. I've created a rectangle with a uh, border radius of about 20 pixels. We're gonna create a little bit of a glass credit card today. Step two is to change our fill from solid to a linear gradient, and we're gonna wanna use something like a little bit of a light gray, like something like EFEF, EF. um, and we're gonna put that on both sides, and we're gonna make sure that one of them goes from about 60, and the other one makes its way to about 10. And let's do that a little bit at an angle, something like that. Now we have a little bit of a translucent effect using that gradient going from 60 down to 10. It's gonna create that sheen and shimmer like glass. All right, now it's time for step number three. We're gonna be adding a background blur. So we're gonna select our object, head over to effect, choose background blur, and we're gonna edit this to be something like 50. You're not gonna see a whole lot of change right now, but you will soon, just stick around. Step number four is to add a gradiated stroke around the entire object that we have. So we're gonna select our shape, head over to stroke. We're gonna choose the color and choose a linear gradient. We're gonna choose white and white. We're gonna do a similar style as we did our background gradient. So we're gonna do uh, not 100, but maybe something like 60. And then our opaque side is gonna be down to 10%. And let's match that diagonal direction of our stroke and just bump it up to be something like two pixels. Now we get a little bit of that shiny edge of the glass. The last thing to do really is drop items on top of it and behind it so you can see the effect of the glass morphism coming through. So I have a bunch of elements. Why don't we go ahead and bring our credit card information in? That looks pretty cool. And then let's bring some shapes inside also and we'll drop those behind. And you can see we get that really cool frosted glass, glass morphism effect. What's great about this is not only can you put objects and elements behind it, but you can also just drop the card onto something that's really, really colorful and you get a similar effect. From here, you can mess with the background blur as well as the gradient and the transparency to get the glass look that you prefer. But this is five easy steps to get you started. Well, that's it. That's how you create that glass morphism effect inside of Figma in five easy steps. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and design tutorials just like this one. So maybe stick around by hitting that little bell notification icon so you know when another video like this one comes out. Are you gonna start using the glass morphism effect? I'd love to know. Let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things. I'll see you in the next one.